Hello sports fans, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I bring you a special NCAA football breakdown video. A lot of people have been debating as of lately with the whole Johnny Manziel situation with him possibly taking autographs and money, um, signing autographs for money, excuse me, and it just got me to thinking. Um, I've seen in the news where Jay Billis really did his in-depth investigation on one of the NCAA's official website as far as selling jerseys where he typed in key players names like a Johnny Manziel and the number two jersey for Texas A&M pops up like a Tim Tebow from Florida and the 15 jersey from Florida pops up so my thing is the big question of the day should the NCAA be able to use MB, uh, the college football's players, uh, college basketball players, college baseball players on their video games on and, and show their likeness, show their abilities and get paid for it. The NCAA has been making billions with a B, billions over the years off of basketball, football, baseball, soccer, all kinds of things. And those revenues generally help to, to better those different schools and those different conferences. But the players can be such penalized as we've seen in the past with Cam Newton, as we've seen with Des Bryant, where the NCAA throws these massive investigations to find things. Sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. But at this very point in time, Texas A&M is faced with a big difficult decision whether to play Johnny Menzel, the Heisman Trophy winner, quarterback of Texas A&M Aggies, or to make him sit out so they don't risk losing or jeopardizing their season. The big question remains should players be able to make money from their autographs from their likeness from different things that EA Sports uses or different things that the different colleges license their uh, their different sports and also their different attributes to video games and such forth in a sense I look at it as Johnny Menzel is just one person I feel like anybody should, if you're affiliated with a college program, you should be able to do things like sign autographs or sell your own memorabilia. For example, college uh, in Ohio State, their college rings that they got in trouble for selling and trading in for tattoos and different things and cars. So for me, I don't see a problem with it. If you earned the national championship ring and you no longer won it, or if you earn certain accolades that come with trophies or come with different uh, pieces of memorabilia then you should you have the full right you know it's not right that college students don't get a, nothing but a stipend if they're college athletes but you also have to look at the big picture they say that oh this education is a uh, hundred and some thousand dollars and you're getting paid in that way but that doesn't put food on the table if you're a college student and you're you're 18 19 20 you want to have a social life if you have a girlfriend if you have a boyfriend in in the females cases you want to take your date out on to a movie date or, or or go out to eat with your family you don't want to just be sitting in a dorm room sitting in there all day all night with nothing to do because you have to face it everybody comes from different backgrounds nobody and in college is perfect. No family ever has uh, billions of dollars just to spend on college or, or things like that. But at the same time, you have to look at it. People come from poverty. People come from middle class, upper class, the whole nine. So I feel like if, if you've achieved uh, to the uh, the accolades to the point where someone wants your autograph and they want to possibly sell it or you could possibly make money off of signing autographs, I believe that you very much do have that uh, respect right and kind of responsibility you know so when it comes to Johnny Menzel I do not think he should be suspended I think that when players like Des Bryant chime in saying they would be mad at the NCAA if he's not suspended I kind of see where they're coming from but you also have to realize this is college football you want your biggest stars if he did not break a law if he did not physically uh, commit robbery if he didn't commit some homicide you have to look at it like okay he signed autographs and got paid for it you should uh, think about NCAA you should think about revising this rule you should really think about it and I think that college sports every single player should at least sell something for one cent so that way they can have a massive uprising against the NCAA so they can't suspend every single player on every single team that would hurt the brand of the NCAA so for me that's an idea like everybody just band together all the coaches make an agreement all the different organizations make a meeting uh, make an agreement excuse me and just come up with different things that you can do to fight this stupid rule you know and it's hurt a lot of star athletes you look at Cam Newton, you look at Des Bryant and what potentially it could have done a Cam Newton season. And for Des Bryant, you kept him off the field for a year in OU and that 
pretty much hurt him coming out in the draft. Even though he had a little uh, off the field problems, you still look at what if he could have boosted that draft stock if he played his junior year, you know, because he didn't effectively have that to play, you know. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think the colleges should be able to make money off these players and not pay them a dime? Let me know what you think about the whole Jay Billis situation where he went and actually typed in different names of different superstars and different players and their jerseys popped up even though the NCAA claims they don't use players' likeness or names on these jerseys. I want to know what you guys think. You can check me out at JustMyPicks.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. Also, check out the new Facebook page we have at JustMyPicksTV. Check out our YouTube channel. View all of our videos. Thank you very much for subscribing. And another thing, subscribe and make sure you share my videos to your sports channel. It's important that we get the word out so everybody can hear our debates. Thank you very much and God bless.